welcome to savi it solution in the previous video we discussed about necessity fails with theory as well as the practical now in this video we learn about lc ladder we are making uh, theory in two videos and practical in four videos why because the number of examples we are taking here and we are also give more information related to else flatter okay so that is why we are explaining in detail in else flatter this is a part 1 in the next part we are making part 2 with two examples okay so initially already uh, continuously we are explaining about um, control structures so under the control structure we are implementing conditional control structures under these control structures uh, decision making or branching decision making or branching under this we have simple if if else nested if else and finally else if ladder okay so simple if is discussed completely if else also discussed with completely and nested if else also completed now we are learning else if ladder so when compared to these four else if ladder is little bit difficult but uh, this is the powerful things to solve a particular type of problems okay now we are moving into that so before going into else else ladder syntax or applications we need to know exactly when we need to use else i am telling only one scenario that will give more meaning to you uh, later we will explain in the more scenarios related to applications okay so the first scenario is exactly where we are using else if so i will take i will take few examples okay these few examples are implemented in practically in the later session okay so the first one is how we need to determine a student acquired distinction or first class or second class or third class or failed with the simple table percentage and class obtained so greater than equal to 85 distinction 60 to 84 first class and 50 to 59 second class 40 to 49 third class less than 40 fail this is the one scenario where we are using else if ladder similarly the second scenario i am taking is lct bill so while we are uh, uh, we regularly paying the lct bill but we don't know how exactly it calculates in this section we will explain you in detail how we are calculating an lct bill okay but meanwhile we need to know uh, back side of the lct bill they providing some table so i am not giving the values exactly but similarly how it look like so i will give it okay <coughs> so the number of units rate per unit and service charge okay this is the table available back side of the electricity bill and here 0 to 50 units 1.97 the service charge is 5 rupees and 51 to 100 okay 2.61 
and the service charge is 10 rupees 1 to 200 4.11 15 rupees 201 to 300 5.99 20 rupees if it is greater than 300 the bill charge is 7.71 and the service charge is 30 rupees so using this table okay they are calculating the LCT bill they are calculating the LCT bill so we need to understand exactly where we are using LCF these are the two examples I mentioned I am also mentioned two more examples here to understand the better possibility okay next one is nowadays the most trending issue is for a student is CGPA and SGPA CGPA means cumulative grade point average and SGPA is semester grade point average so while finding this we are they are providing a table the table gives the complete meaning of how we need to find SGPA and how we need to find CGPA okay so the table consists of three parts one is marks grade and points marks is greater than or equal to 85 over grade and the points is 10 similarly in between 75 to 80 85 grade is a and the point is 9 and 65 to 75 grade is b and points are 8 and the next is 55 to 65 c and the points are 7 and 45 to 55 d and 6 next 40 to 45 e 5 and lastly less than 40 f the grade is 4 based on this table also we need to find ESGPA of a student how exactly we need to find I will explain you in the latter sections when we are going to a program based okay so apart from this one more example influences the results that roots of a quadratic equation okay so the quadratic equation is nothing but a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a not equal to 0 okay where a not equal to 0 now we are also checking uh, we need to find the roots we need to find the determinant delta or d is equal to b square minus 4ac if this d is equivalent to 0 roots are real and equal if the d is greater than 0 real and unequal if the d is less than 0 okay roots are imaginary roots conjugate to imaginary roots so now I will tell you the main path so when the data is in the form of the input of the data is in the form of frequency okay so it is in the form of frequency mandated to use LCF that is what exactly the goal of using LCF so I think you understand the data is in the form of frequency definitely we need to use LCF ladder so that we will get the result we will compute the problem very easily so I think you understand I will go to the next step now the syntax 
if the condition one is true then statements one will be executed otherwise we need to check another condition that condition two will be checked if this is false the statement two uh, this is true then statement two will be executed again this is false then we will check condition three and this is false this is true then statement three will be executed it continues completely at the at somewhere it ends that is the else and the statement four will be executed this is the way we are writing the syntax okay so now we are going to the application part okay one by one we'll go back right the first one is write a java program to calculate electricity bill so initially what i need to do is i will uh, construct small table some values and based on that we will um, write the program logic related to that so here number of units rate per unit i am not taking service charge so why because if we take it we can do it but it gives more complex results okay nothing more just we need to add service value to the respect to things automatically you will get so especially i am not discussing now so 0 to 50 units i will take the value is 1.97 and 51 to 100 I will take 3.11 and 101 to 200 I will take 4.61 and 201 to 300 I will take 5.91 and greater than 300 I will take 7 rupees. So using this table I will make a program. So here i will explain only the logic i will not go deeper into it okay so now the num uh, i will take the variable number of units is called unit and rate is called the variable for finding the uh, values okay so now if units less than equal to 50 so the rate is units into 1.97 so sorry before going into the program i will tell you how we need to calculate in the down i will write so if the number of units is 350 then we calculate like this 50 into 1.97 plus again 50 into 3.11 plus again 100 into 4.61 plus 100 into 5.91 plus last 50 into 7 rupees they did not calculate 50 into 350 into 7 rupees will get the result this is wrong and this is the right way of calculating electricity bill okay so that's why first part if it is less than then i will do like this again i will check if else if units less than equal to 100 i will not check the condition greater than 50 and less than 100 only i will check less than 100 automatically it checks the background okay it takes the values okay now the rate is equal to 50 into 1.97 plus units minus 50 into second one is 3.111 so again we need to check else if units less than equal to 200 rate is equal to 50 into 1.97 plus again 50 into 3.11 plus units minus 50 plus 50 100 
into 4.61 so again lc if units less than equal to 300 so the rate is equal to 50 into 1.97 plus 50 into 3.11 plus 100 into 4.61 plus units minus 200 into 5.91 if it is greater than so finally we need to make l spot rate is equal to 50 into 1.97 plus 50 into 3.11 plus 100 into 4.61 plus 100 into 5.91 plus units minus 100, 200, 300, 300 into 7 rupees. So you will get the results. So one note is if this is the float point then this is integer when the conversion takes typecasting we need to apply the typecasting procedure otherwise no need to use okay so the next one is write a java program to find the class obtained for a student so whenever the class obtained for a student already we discussed the class is obtained with the help of the small table that is percentage and class obtained so here the table is greater than equal to 85 distinction and 62 85 means in between less than 85 so first class and 50 to 60 second class and 40 to 50 third class less than 40 fail using this table we need to make it so here we need to follow two things one is take marks of this student and find the total as well as the find the percentage then we need to check this condition this is the one way of approach and the second way of approach is directly we need to enter the percentage and we need to make it that is the second way of approach so here i need to explain only the logic i am not explaining them how we need to give input how we need to compute it these things are not at all matter for us to explain so that what i am doing is p is the percentage this is greater than equal to 85 okay greater than equal to 85 simply i need to print distinction else if the p is is greater than equal to 60 system dot out dot print ln first class else if PA is greater than equal to 50 system dot out dot print ln second else if PA is greater than equal to 40 system dot out dot print ln third class else the candidate will be failed system dot out dot print ln fail okay this is the way we are checking the condition so i hope you understand 
बेटर ली ऑफ एल सीफ इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर मेकिंग पार्ट टू वी आर टेकिंग टू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स टू एक्सप्लेन ओके आलरेडी इन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एल सीफ वी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एलक्ट्रिसिटी बिल क्लास अब टेन फॉर ए स्टूडेंट प्रिंट द ग्रेड ऑफ ए स्टूडेंट मार्क्स एंड फाइनली वी आर ऑल्सो मेकिंग डिस्कसिंग ऑन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो हियर वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग एलक्ट्रिसिटी बिल एंड क्लास ऑफ टेन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी नीड टू प्रिंट द ग्रेड ग्रेड ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंड वी आर ऑल्सो डिस्कसिंग अबाउट क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू